Greetings, greetings, everyone, and welcome to a Thursday night live stream. I am sorry that I did not live stream. Well, cooperate, pretzel. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry I didn't live stream last night or earlier this afternoon. This afternoon, I actually called off primarily because of technical difficulties. Um, I was going to be live streaming um, the division, and it turns out the division uses an inordinately large percentage of my system systems resources just to run. So I can't really run captured stream software alongside it. So eh, it might be on hold for a while. Uh, first of all, greetings to the Saffron Raiders. Thank you very much, everybody. To you, all you wonderful normal faces out there. I love seeing you and having you show up for this fine Thursday evening. Um, we are here in Coop Live. Uh, Mr. Foxbot is with me, but he is straightening out an audio issue. He just logged back in. Yeah, I just basically have to reload my client because if I plug in my headphones after the client minecraft client has launched i don't yeah. get the audio to my headphones yeah um i i think i've ironed out knock on wood most of my audio issues until the next time windows updates naturally so <laughs> darn technical issues yeah i really do want to live stream the division it's a, it's a blast of a game but it uses like 60 percent of my cpu and 90 percent of my gpu um that's the lowest i can tune it and that's 60% just the game. That is not counting the other 20 to 25 that's being used by other stuff running in the background with Windows and Chrome and yada, 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 yada. So, I, I mean, it's almost maxing out my system just to run the division. I don't think I could stream it with a capture card. And I don't have $175 to spare to buy one. So, I am sorry about that. I will have to come up with another solution for entertainment in that time slot. We'll see what I can do. Maybe more Warframe. I don't know. Um... Second PC for capture, overkill. I would love to do a second PC for capture. Um, honestly, that is extreme overkill in terms of budget. I don't have that kind of money. Right now, my goal is to try and get an Elgato HD60 Pro, which is an internal capture card. plugs into PCI Express. Um, it's got loads of bandwidth, uh, and I think it would solve a lot of my capture problems. Uh, but uh, i got to save up for that. Uh, Razer Cortex helps me out by shutting down unneeded processes while I play games. Seems to have helped with division. That's an interesting point, uh, Saffron. I don't have any Razer stuff, but I could at least try Cortex. That's a good idea. Oh, and Nightbird's running in double shift again. Um, doing another double shift today. One of the other partners quit, and that means I uh, and that means I work more. Oh gosh, I am sorry to hear that you had somebody quit there, Night Pirate. But I guess that means more money in your pocket. So yeah, um, yeah, a second PC for capture I have done in the past, um, SD Maniac. Um, it's complicated. It actually adds more complications to the thing, not less. Uh, but uh, yeah. Yes, more money. Exactly. Berg says, I use Razer stuff. I have Corsair keyboard and mouse right now. Um, I stopped using Razer stuff because it kept breaking on me. So... Uh, I don't have any Razer hardware or whatnot, but yeah. 
Box just appeared out of nowhere. Where did you come from, Box? The space station. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Box? <laughs> Nobody's gonna like that joke. Uh, anyway, it was barely a joke. <laughs> Maniac says, Yay, Corsair buddies! I will warn you, I like the Corsair hardware. Their software sucks. I kind of wish I had bought Logitech. That's me, though. Um. So, yeah. Oh, okay, Saffron's the same way. I have no Razer stuff, but I use the software. I will give a look at Razer Cortex, then. Thank you very much for the suggestion. Um, okay. There we go. What's wrong? I was waiting for the RS system to work on the space station. Oh, I had that problem at the, uh, at the moon base. I went to the moon base uh, earlier <laughs> when I first stepped on just to check on it. And the uh, refined storage system was offline, so... Yeah, um, yeah anyway. you kind of have to go in and update the... Um, card? Transmitter. Oh. oh. Transmitter card. Yeah, okay. Otherwise, it doesn't work for some reason. I'm still in Car Cortex now to help test it out, says the Dark Preacher. Also, hi, Preach! What's going on, man? I swear, one day I will find a game that me and Preach can both play and can both stream and want to stream together. Because we've never done content together, and I think we should. Um, we have a uh, uh, um, podcast idea that I want to do still, but he moved, and then like I got sick for a month, and uh, we need to actually sit down and hammer that out, actually, but whatever. Um, okay, I have a project idea. I need to find space for it. Second floor of the workshop is as good a place as any. I'm actually going to cheat and turn that on. I know. Gas park. I ran into things to do on the space station. You ran out of things to do? Yeah, because it's like... it's It runs by itself. It's got oxygen generation being generated. It's got power being generated. Enough to supply that the uh, inside of the space station is constantly filled up with oxygen and... You could do the same stuff for the moon base. Like air and uh, self-sufficient power. Okay. Just a passing thought. There's the wife. Everybody wave to the wife. Yay! I'm not waving anymore. They can't see me wave, but whatever. They're waving in spirit, honey. Oh, oh gosh. Mm. Diamond, oh, redstone, silicon, and lapis. Okay. So I have this weird... This music is strange. Um, I have this weird order of things in my inventory as a reminder. Um, water. We're going to get water into a transposer. Uh, I mean into an uh, alchemical imbuer. And we're going to pipe nether wart into it. Um, I'm considering... I was considering hooking up all these buses, but I think I'm going to take my own advice in terms of refined storage. And I'm going to make an export to a little chest, maybe a ender chest. And that way I can just have all the things pulled from the ender chest. Might do that. Yeah, first. let me set that up then. Well, I tell you what I need. Well, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll get the machine set up and then we can work from there. Um, okay. Pop says, I think Vagerman Preacher and Human Fall Flat would be hilarious. I have that game. I'm terrible at it. So, yes, it would be hilarious. Um, SG Maniac Waves. Dark Preacher says, hi, Jen. Uh -huh. Night Pirate Waves. Sap from Waves. <laughs> yeah. Boxbot, what about the Spin Rocket? Says Night Pirate. Spin Rocket? For spinning the station, I guess? I'm not sure. I don't want to spin the station right now because I don't know how I'm going to go about that. If I build the space station too wide, it will cause you to be pushed out towards the edges. Aha! That's a bad thing. Due to centrifugal force. See? Fox is smart. Um, let's see. I'm going to do... Oh, you know what? I've already sparted. I've already sparted a floor. I can't talk tonight. I clearly haven't had enough coffee. Actually, I didn't need to pick up all of those. That was overkill. 
turn that off. Um, one, two, three, four. Oh, I have this recipe wrong. Okay. Let's get one of those. Cover up the ugly. Um, okay. I think I need to do shift, left click in the middle square, resets all of them. In, out. Super simple. I'm going to start filling this thing up. There we go. So now if we put nether wart in this one. Oh, these are going to actually have to have inputs on top, aren't they? Uh, 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 uh. Mm, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, I hope everybody had a wonderful day. It is a little rainy here in Texas. It's not really actually that rainy here in Houston. It's raining in Dallas, which is um, the most interesting thing that could ever happen to Dallas. Um, the wife's laughing at that joke. Um... The rockets need more fins, says Birdcraft. I get that joke. Um. Yeah, Maniac says words are hard. Uh, yeah, we're working on Mars. Don't worry about it, Night Pirate. We're going to get to Mars. I'm not sure if we're going to do that tonight. We're probably going to do that next week. But I do want to get to Mars specifically because, wow, look at Foxbot flap so hard. He really is working on those aerobics, isn't he? Keep some trim. Um, I'm making a, the <laughs> Galactic Ash solar, solar panels. I'm not just, just kind of standing gonna, gonna flapping as hard as you can. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to Mars. Uh, it's not going to happen tonight. I kind of want to wait until Aerodonny's around. If you notice, Aerodonny's not on this evening. He has been busy. Um, he's trying to find a real job and real work. So uh, I'm not bugging him or hassling him on scheduling. I'm letting him do his thing. And there's the wife. Hi, everybody. By the way, honey, you notice you're still leading the, the you're still top of the leaderboard on the Bits Wars. Jumping jacks without the jumping. Yes, it's just jacks. Um, okay. So, it's going to be in order. It's going to be nether wart. That will make an awkward potion, which goes over here. Oh, birdcraft. Never mind. I cursed it by saying something about it. And now, they're t now she's in the lead again. <laughs> uh, so, awkward potion will come over here uh, with the uh, nether wart. Makes an awkward potion over here. It gets mixed with spider eye. And I think becomes poison. Then we mix over here. There's a purpose to what I'm doing. With fermented spider eye. And that is going to make it instant damage instead of poison. So instead of having to wait for a dot that won't actually kill something. This will just do a whole bunch of damage instantly and potentially kill them. Then we put gunpowder in here to make it splash. I think that works. And then we put... Um, glowstone dust in here to boost it to make it harm two instead of harm one and I need a transposer transposer um let's get a transposer right here and we're gonna go uh, input I think that's gonna be enough think yeah we'll see so zip that line right there we're gonna be doing importing with item buses into the top except for here all these are gonna have items being imported and I think mr. Fox was working on an ender chest for me oh I need items. you said that you wanted to build the machines first yeah yeah so I got the machines in order and I know I have them laid out okay um let's see what was I doing all right Needed. Is, is there something in refined storage, a bus that will keep something in stock? You know what I'm talking about? Like, just keep one stack of this, or eight, or four of these, or whatever? No. Good grief. SG Maniac swings in with 236 bits after Fergcraft sings in with 100. <laughs> Sorry, honey. You have been bounced down to third. Can you refine it in the refractionating still to get it more powerful? Oh, that's a good point, Pops. Once we get it, maybe we can actually refractionate it. I don't know. I'm going to have to make it first and see what happens with that last step. 
so yeah. Thank you, Maniac and Perg and wife. Uh, okay. I'm going to go. Oh, yeah. I was going to come get some ducks. I need item. No, I need to click on the field first. Time to make that tank. Uh, I don't. Ender tank. Okay. That was easy. We're swapping over to chip tunes, ladies and gentlemen. Um, impulse item ducks and item ducks opaque. Did, 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 did. Impulse item ducks don't actually have a. Oh, I have um more mean... advanced item ducks, by the way. Oh. Item duct or flu duct? Item. No, I do not. Loser. Um. I have super laminar. Fluid yeah, ducks. So. Yeah. Superbly laminated fluid ducts, yes. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to need to move a whole bunch of stuff around that quickly. I do need to get a servo out, though. Uh, let's see. There's, oh, no, wait a minute. Team. Chicken of the Sea, what did you say? Should we make the team... Oh, the... yes. Hang on a second. Oh, gosh. What was it? Um... Oh, it's vanilla. And I haven't done it since um, Wasted. What was it? Crap. It's a vanilla command. Joint? No. Help? Yes, let's wait through four... 19 pages of help. This is going to be brilliant, Vigram. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I gotta remember what the command is for vanilla teams, and I cannot remember. Uh, I'll know it when I see it, I think. Whoa, Saffron 500 taking first place for once. You people are nuts! Also, I think you might have maxed out my bits goal. I'm not sure. Um, I love your faces, but you're all crazy. Uh, let's see. Scoreboard teams add. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Do you mind getting that set up? Actually, you're the one that knows it better than I do. Oh, well, I can, uh, scoreboard. And then you do, yeah, scoreboard teams. Scoreboard teams. Right, what was the thing that we were going to do before that? Oh, right, add the horse to the, uh, Goggles or whatever it is. Teams. Uh, join. Okay, so I think you can do scoreboard, teams, join, and then CSM, capital CSM. Let's see what I can do with. Um, teams, option. Color purple. Oh no. Uh, team option. What is it? It's color. And isn't it like RGB? Or nope. Uh, it's um scoreboard. Options. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, no. Teams. Option. Teams option CSM. CSM. I think then color. Yes. I just keep hitting tab. Valid values. Here we go. Dark purple, light purple. Let's do dark purple. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's going to be super hard to see. Um. <laughs> awesome. Definitely. Yeah. So now we can actually get uh, the reason we're doing that is so we can make team ender stuff like team ender tanks or whatnot. Yes. Quote number two. What's color? Says Vigram. Um, I hate Minecraft help pages and modded. Honestly, Minecraft vanilla Minecraft help page help stuff is better coded and better structured than modded stuff. Oh, snap. I said it. Perk says we've made July. Bits war complete. 
I'm over by 256. Oh my god. Hey, Mallrat. <laughs> I now remember that one, says Ferg. Yeah. Um. Uh, yes. Uh, I I actually found the scoreboard thing just by the base command, right slash scoreboard, a long time ago, and uh, we've used it a couple of times for different things. Uh, we put a death scoreboard on the side of the screen once. Dark Preacher set that up with the same command, but um, yeah, you can do all sorts of cool stuff with it. But now we are. I think we can do scoreboard teams list. CSM and it has two players. No, 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 we're the only one. So yeah, instead of using diamond to make a private one, you can set an emerald onto emerald into ender tanks and ender chests, and you'll see in that upper uh, right uh, upper left hand corner of my screen where the one probe tooltip is. It says CSM at the bottom of it. That's a team ender tank. Anybody can access it and make use of it. If if um, I put one down that's emerald, and I'm on the same team as Fox, Fox can put one down that's emerald. And as long as they're the same colors, they will have the same stuff come out of them. So what was the tanks for? What are you going to make the tanks for? I don't know. We needed tanks. No, we needed chests. Oh. I made tanks then. <laughs> and they are black, black, black. Black, 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 black. Um... No, it's not, Morgan. Not anymore. Not in this room. Uh, it was delicious. Really need to start taking pics and posting on the cafe, says Kiro. Oh, Kiro made pulled pork barbecue. Yes, you do. Oh, that sounds good. I know, right? Um, Seth Bling did most of his mini games with scoreboard mechanics. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I need to delve into. It's disappointing you do not know wool. Who, me? Yeah, I do. I think. Yeah, I know five different colors. White no. wool. Okay, I, I don't know why I was not auto pulling the wolf for the chests. I only know those five colors, but I do know them at least. Okay, uh, oh, I'm going to make a quick note. One thing that I've had to do, okay? In my transmutation table, you guys have to remember this transmutation table, I set it down and I put the export bus plugged into the bottom of it. So right now, our refined storage system is using my table, my EMC values. What I've had to go through and do. Like, let's say you look at, um, what's a good satchel is a good example of this, okay? We've made all of these satchels. There's basic, hardened, reinforced, signalum. I just got two things. Hey, thanks. Um, and uh, resonant. Once we work our way up to resonant satchels, we don't need the EMC values for the lower ones. There's no point. Uh, the same thing goes for other stuff like tools. There's no reason this late in game to still have the EMC values memorized for stone tools or for, you know, copper armor or whatever. Iron armor, I see a value, a reason for, because certain later game stuff uses like an iron helmet and you stick an upgrade on it, things like that. That makes sense. Uh, but like um, a lot of these machines or the machines over here, the thermal expansion and check reborn machines, we had the EMC values for them memorized. I actually forgot them specifically because we still know all the component parts. So there's no reason to keep those. We can still quick craft those with one little shift click of a plus symbol into the refined storage system. That's easy. We don't need to actually have all of the EMC for those things memorized though, because the longer the list of memorized EMC gets in this table, the slower the response time is in our refined storage system. So I'm trying to actively prune things. Um, okay. So now what we're going to do, well, let me think, uh, it's going to hurt a little bit. I'm going to put this right here. It's going to go sideways, because why? It still works. Yeah, it works. Who cares? Uh, oh, we need to put an export bus with a filter. Oh, right. That's another thing I was going to do. Filter, filter, filter. I need... I'm just going to get, like, half a stack of them. That's overkill, but whatever. I need one servo and then a whole bunch of filters. And we need an exporter, I think. I can't remember if it's going to be the exporter or not. Let's... Huh. The, um... You haven't been to the moon yet, have you? The moon? I helped make the base on the moon. No, I mean the... You the haven't been station. up here within the... I have... I, I went on there the initially... the moon within the last couple of minutes. No, not in the last few minutes. I went up there a couple hours ago when I first stepped on before livestream time. But that's it. 
it's literally okay because wire. the refined storage grid up here is working <laughs> oh i went up there once you probably going up there a second time kicked it into life Mallrat 208 says making help commands is hard oh suck it up um laboratory blocks apparently is our choice it's a good generic white building block i like it uh sg maniac says huzzah for optimizations yeah it's actually kind of important maniac it is overkill to have all the different like there's no point in having leadstone ducts i'll go show you over here in our tech closet we have two stacks of leadstone flux ducts. These things are the entry level power cables for thermal expansion, right? There is, or thermal dynamics technically. There is no point in knowing these when we actually have several stacks of these on demand we can pull out of our butts. Resonant flux ducts trump everything except cryo stabilized. We don't have those yet, but there's a possibility we might. Uh, I want to do some business with Mr. Uh, Lunatic Asylum. He is making those for the sake of selling them, and I need to talk about. How much he's gonna actually selling them? Gonna be selling them for? Okay, I need to see. Keep in mind those don't have any EMC value. Uh, no, no, no. Well, yes, the uh, cryo stabilized, the empty cryo stabilized or the empty flux, the cryo stabilized flux ducts. But when they're empty before you fill them with cryo fluid, those do have an EMC value. So basically, he has to make those with EMC, and then do auto crafting to fill them with the actual necessary fluid to get the final state. So we could do that ourselves, but in an order, in an effort to maybe stimulate some local economy, I'm just going to buy them from him. So, because he's been stockpiling them. So he's probably got stacks and stacks. Uh, let's see. Filter, 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 filter. Range upgrade. Uh, stack upgrade. I probably want one of those. Apparently, I don't have laboratory blocks learned. There is a starter block that you will need to know the uh must be warm. yeah filter. I just pulled it out though okay filter I think is yeah is that what I want I think filter is what I, uh, where'd it go there it is it ran away some cool music okay I'm gonna go downstairs I'm gonna put this Right there? Upside down? Sure, why not? I'm feeling particularly silly tonight. Um, yeah, that's off. Okay, cool. So what I would get is some item ducts. Always use opaque. It's server friendly. It's performance friendly. Don't use the transparent ones. They're silly. I'm not going to put the servos on there yet. If you do the transparent ones, I will hurt you. Yeah. Uh, we'll hire hit, hit, hit chickens to come get you. Um... So stupid question, how does one forget an EMC value? I can actually show you that. That's not a stupid question, that's a good question, maniac. I'm kind of liking the use of concrete on the moon. They mix well with chisel blocks. That's good to know. Um, so you see this slot right here, SG Maniac? If I put something in here like gunpowder, I've just forgotten. I've unlearned, it says right there, the EMC for gunpowder. Then I'd have to put it over here again to relearn it. But basically what you do is, here's the mistake everybody makes. They pull something out of their table, they unlearn it, and then they toss it in the little fire thing to burn it for EMC. The problem is, when you toss it in that little fire square, that relearns the EMC value. It's a loop. <laughs> so what we did, we have an EMC trash can over here. It's an it's a just an energy condenser with red matter. And when you have stuff that you want to burn for EMC, but you don't want to learn the pattern, stick it in here gradually fill this up then you'll get one red matter or whatever you want to make diamonds who cares and stick it back in your system that's how you can actually trash emc without having to worry about relearning it so i pulled a whole bunch of stuff out of here unlearned it and then tossed it in there for red matter that's how it works okay i want to check this thing uh let's see I'm going to end up expanding this base on the moon. Uh, yes, we need to expand the moon base, actually. Um, and that's something that could be worked on if need be. Okay, whitelist. Damage, NBT. We're not going to track damage. I don't think any of this stuff needs NBT. I'm not going to do it. I want exact. I do not want our dictionary. 
mod filter. I think that's that one is. Um, eh. And so now we do type items comparing between no. Um, okay, now it's jammed full of stuff. So one thing I'm gonna have to do, I think it's an ender pearl. It's either an ender pearl. Ender pearl or an ender eye. It depends on which one you use, that how much it adds to it. Yeah, I think if you do an ender eye, you get a little bit more. Why would my chisel even allow me to put my philosopher's stone in it? So we've got, okay, see, we've got, what? What did I forget on here? Nope, I got everything on here. And we have the... Yeah, this is not going to be great. Because... I need, don't need that. Let's put that up there. Don't need that. No, no, no. It pops points at a good point. There's a button at the bottom of the exporter that allows you to put the exporter into regular mode. Should allow you to specify how many to stock. Ooh, what were? Oh, regular mode. Yes. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, let me get full stacks of each one of these. First, I'm going to get all of this stuff out. these two I didn't even know what regulator mode is so hopefully hopefully that is a thing can I just do oh thank god that's right okay yes pops to the rescue once again let's get learned I thought I'd learned that oh weird what else do I not know great okay um so we're gonna need this, this, and that, and that. And there's now stacks of all of those. Awesome! Which means now we can go downstairs. And ugh. Ha ha ha! So what we do, this is going to be the initial step, and we want to get I think prevent oversending? No, prevent oversending. We want on. And this is whitelist. Some mods don't have support. What? Who's where? It's just. Um, minimum, minimum, minimum. You use the gunpowder for the unlearned explanation. Oh, ha! <laughs> That's why I didn't know it. I wasn't paying attention and didn't relearn it. Whoops. See, it works. Um, okay. We're going to get filter, 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 filter. So only specific things can go in specific places. It works that, a little too well. Yeah, it does work a little too well. Um, um, I'm going to put that there. Then the next step has to be fermented spider eyes. Then gunpowder, then glowstone, then we wait and see. Now what I can do, since the filters are all set, I can get this thing, put it up here. Just in case anything gets put in the loop. It's going to be a whitelist for pulling. Uh, I can ignore NBT, I think. We can do that. This now has another word in it. And honestly, whoop. I can just bump that down to random. Round Robin, there we go. 
Uh, that might come back to bite me in the arse, but we'll see. So this is going to use Nether Wart. And it would fill up right here, but instead it's going over here, and we have Awkward Potion. This gets Spider Eye put into it. Comes over here as po Poison. This gets run through the Fermented Spider Eye. And becomes Harming, Instant Damage. We're going to run this through Gunpowder to make... Should be Splash Harm. There we go. And then the Glowstone will crank it up into... Oh, no, we don't want that yet. Because we have a question. There we go. Instant Damage. Splash Instant Damage 2. Um, auto Potion. Splash Damage. Yeah, Splash Potions of Damage. Exactly, Dragon Racer. So this is going to be Splash Instant Damage or Instant Harm 2. He shared a picture of the pork loin on the in the cafe. Oh, that is evil. I'm uh, going to have to ignore it for a minute. Um, let's see. If we do harm. No, 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 no. What is it actually? Thermal. According to Mallrat, we added a bunch of the ores to the Galactograph sensors already. Oh, good. Okay. So the sensor he goggles. He did that when there. he added the uh, shield block and glass to the sealable. Oh gosh. Um, okay. Um, harm potion. So if we have splash instant damage to there's fluid transposer. What was it? It was the um, thermal. There was a machine. Somebody asked if we wanted to run it through the. I seriously not learn the projector. A fractionating still. Okay, fractionating still with alchemical retort. Lingering potion. Oh gosh. Pages and pages. I'm disappointed in myself for not learning the uh, shield projector. Um. Okay. Splash instant damage two. We'll turn it to instant damage three. Yes, we want a fractionating still. Okay. Let's really crank the knob up on this dumb project. Um, let's kill that. Turns out, don't need that. Don't need all those. Uh... Don't need to learn it, so we can just trash it for now. And let's see, we're going to do... Phytogenic yada yada. Fractionating still. The oh. server's calling Kiro evil. That would be Dark Preacher. And now he's being more evil! My dad brings my charcoal pan tomorrow, replacement, and then I get to grill the next best thing to pork loin, boneless spare rib. That sounds awesome, Dragon Racer. You need to post pictures. What are the blocks next to the disk drive? Oh, yeah! yeah. We did this offhand, off stream. Let me update everybody on these. These are fluid storage blocks. We want it, okay. We have right here, fluid storage for whatever, right? Uh, we're using the reborn storage, the expanded size fluid storage disks. And uh, what we've done is we blacklisted oxygen because we're buffering oxygen into our refined storage system and then pumping it out at the bases up on the moon or in space or eventually on Mars until we can get self-sufficient with those bases. The oxygen is coming from here in the overworld. So instead of having them fill up potentially any in all, because the production's ongoing. Instead of having them potentially fill up any and all fluid storage we have here, and we've got like uh, 118 buckets of lava, 72 buckets of uh, oil, we have exactly, you see, it's varying up and down slightly, but it never goes over a little over 2.1K of uh, 2,100 2, uh, buckets of oxygen because we're using these. These have a higher priority. They're all priority 30 or 40. I can't remember, but they're higher than anything else. They're whitelisted for oxygen specifically. So these are full. 
of oxygen. These are standalone fluid blocks that you can actually use in refined storage. And these are all full of oxygen. So this is our buffer for oxygen as well as, I'll show you. There's that tank right there. Liquid oxygen holds 500 buckets. Plus, we have another one. Let's share the service in live, shall we? Plus, we have another one that we actually have up on the moon, which buffers into it. Um, oh, we have funny text names. That's funny, because we're on team now. I forgot. Yeah, it's uh, colored. Um, it was just like on the wasted server. Yeah. I like it. It confuses people. Um, we could change that color, by the way. We could change it to like orange if we're doing the Copper Mountain thing. I'm not dead set on it. I just picked a random color. Actually, the, um, the space race is purple. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there you go. Um, I'm running nicely today. This is the server saying I'm running nicely today. Thank you, players, for being nice to me. My CPU is uh, running at an average of 50%, which is actually pretty good for a lot of the activity we've got. Wow, Kira needs a better connection. Um, so anyway, that's what those blocks are, for whoever asks. Yes, what's color? Thank you. I think you can distill potions multiple times. That said, you should skip the sensor glasses and try the scanner from Scannable. It's freaking awesome. Yes, Scannable's a great mod. Yeah, um, the still condenses potions and makes them stronger. Yeah, the fractionating still. So I've got one here. I can go ahead and go downstairs. I can't chisel moon turf. Nope, he's got no chisel points for it. We go in. And uh, I think now, let's see. Oh, I threw away the fluid transposer. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm a dummy. Um, good. I need to make that augment too. No, I have not forgotten. It's getting dark on the moon. This is a bad idea. Uh, we have uh, b -b 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 interdiction torches at the base. Yeah, but I'm nowhere near it. Oh, that's your own fault, dude. Um, okay. There's also an augment that I need to make. Augie, augie, augie. Mint, mint, mint. Alchemical retort. There we go. What? <laughs> what? I'm just I... trying to think of an alchemical retort. You're trying to actually think of an alchemical retort. Um, there's a bad joke in there somewhere. Hey, Tig, what's going on? There we go. Alchemical retort. Go down. Go over here. Oh, right. Upgrades required. Here's a fun thing that somebody spent time doing that we now have the EMC for. Eh, 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 eh. Dun, dun, dun. Awesome. So now... We get this. We put that in there. Suddenly, it is full of instant splash damage, too. And we have instant splash damage, three. What use do we have for this potion? I don't know. Show recipes. What can you do with the... Oh, alchemical retort. Here we go. Um, bad luck, two. Instant damage, three. I don't think there's an instant damage, four. I think there's one extra step for everything, and that's it. I'm not really sure, though. Got some crazy stuff in here. Nope, I lied. Instant damage four. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's get one more of those. Fractionating still. Nope. Okay. Dark Richard says, I wonder how hard it would be to make an add-on for Chisel for GC blocks. It's pretty simple. Drolkus would probably help us. Drolkus on Team Chisel is a friend of the community. Um, Night Pirate says, Fox Bot, you're on the moon. What about glowstone torches? We have interdiction torches up around the base. Um, uh, he could set down glowstone torches if he wanted to, but we have, um... Elimination uh, wands. 
we have yeah we have illumination wands which are battery powered basically and um i'll place more down later for some reason that interdiction porch is actually doing pretty decent over by the moon base for right now input let's do output and then we're gonna do alchemical retort Instant damage three because instant damage four. Honestly, I don't know if we can push it any farther. Um, that tree grew very, very, very big. Also, yeah, you had you didn't supply enough space for those trees. So I put I put birch in there. I supplied enough for the birch trees. Those are oak, and those were built by somebody, not by me. Yeah, I can tell because. We can raise the roof, though. Whoop, whoop. I mean... No, uh, I, I built a whole new area for those trees. Oh, good. Okay. Thank Why you. Why did that tree grow so massive? <laughs> what kind of tree did you use? I used oak. So, okay. they, so like, two of them grew huge. That's why. And, uh, oak okay. trees can actually get pretty big. I'm looking, and if there's such a thing as an instant damage five, I don't think there is, but, I mean... Don't hold me to it. There's instant damage. Two to three. There's pretty high levels of regeneration potions, that's for sure. Absorption. Wither effect. Okay, I think four is the highest we can actually take this productively. Which means now what we do is we go out that way. Uh, we're going to get a convert. Nothing like the joys of a bat consistently dying while in space. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Um, mm, mm, here we go. And now what I could do... Honestly. Um, no, I'm going to change this. Let's do... Up. And then let's make that in, because then what we can do is we can get a tank. We can buffer the crap out of this. Uh, convert. I'm going to put a tank here. Upgrade it. Set it to output. And then I'm going to get some super laminated hyperducts or whatever they're called. Oh, that works to the side. Okay, cool. I think. Yep, that's full. And that is filling up. That is hard to read. See a splash potion of harm something. Harming. Just as harming. Splash potion of Harwin. Uh, okay. You don't, if you don't live in Houston, you won't get that joke. It's not worth getting them. It's okay. Uh... Okay, so now what we can do is we can get this thing and we can infuse it with nothing? Wah, wah, wah. Infuse, maybe it's because it's splash. Okay. That's interesting. This is one of these things where I haven't tried these things. I don't know if they're broken or what. Hmm. Used to add, um, imbuse arrows with potions. Used to add arrows from your inventory. Used while sneaking to remove arrows from the quiver. Um... Imbuing enabled. Yeah, it still doesn't want to... Hmm. Yep, can't do anything with that. Never break blocks so fast that they lag. Yep. 
to the point that when you place something down in them, they reappear. Um, Maniac says, I had a setup that took a potion I made to level 5. Yeah, but that's dependent upon the potion. Um, Dark Preacher says, I have chocolate cherry coffee. Tastes like someone dunked a chocolate-covered cherry in some coffee. That sounds awesome. Um, most potions go to 5, I think, says Pops. I don't know. I, I didn't see one, but I'm not worried about that now. I'm more worried about the factor of this might either be broken. Let me. I'm going to take all the arrows out of it. It has no arrows in it. And it does not want to imbue. That is, I mean, it fill. It is super weird. If you hold it. Fluid transposer. See? And it just says potion. <laughs> It doesn't actually, like, I don't know. Yeah, we got power. It kind of makes me wonder if it's spl the splash part of it that's messing things up. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do re-add all the arrows. Let's get this out of the way. Let's put this on the bar. Don't need this. Okay, let's take this out of the loop for a second here. I think I got everything. Um, so this is just instant damage. Now we get a fractionating still. make it look like the uh, trees grew through the glass because they're so massive when you click the quiver on the tank I did try that didn't do anything pops All right it's nighttime maybe it's not compatible with thermal potions the distilled versions I would like to point out this is a thermal innovations item if it's not compatible with its own potion system then the thermal team needs to uh, step their game up um okay So this is instant damage. It should be passing over to here. I don't know why it's not. Let's do fractionating still. Let's get some ducty ducties. There we go. I was sitting here thinking, can I sleep on the moon? No, uh, cryo chambers. We have to go to Mars. Yes. We have to go to Mars and get dash uh, so that we can actually uh, make beds that will work on the moon. Okay, this has, I don't know what in it. Um, servo. I don't know if this needs There's servo. people asking for a moon based tour, and it's not even done yet. The moon base hasn't changed much from last stream. Yeah, Night Pirates is moon base tour, please. Yeah, that's not going to be a thing this evening. I um, have suddenly a refractionating still. Do you? Yes. Can you... I get sick and tired of items floating away on me. Yep. <laughs> so I left it on. This is hilarious. Okay, so instant splash damage. So, oh, is I know what's Kira? probably wrong. Hang on a second. Okay, I see what I need to do. Hang on a second. Um, alchemical imbuer.
That has instant damage. And this, oh, no. There we go. Okay, that's better. Um, let's... Okay. I have apples and saplings strewn about my inventory. <laughs> um, so that is going to be potion of harm. Instant, yeah, instant damage too. So we've got a fraction aiming still. Put it down next to it. There we go. That's going to make it three. Okay, so this is going to make it four. Now, uh, let's see, this po tank. Do we have a tank? Uh, I can't remember. Okay, I'm going to do that. Tank. Convert. Night Pirate, you don't need to ask twice. And then I've missed the No, they're going to be... Hmm? They're going to be the uh, instant damage heroes. Yeah, yeah not, not poison. They're going to be instant damage. Um, okay, we're going to get a fluid transposer. I'm going to do this. Fluid transposer here. Convert that. So that is filling up with Potion of Harming. Four. And then we're going to do Super Laminated Hyperducks. And... I heard that. So I this... was filling oxygen tanks, so I needed a drink. Ha ha ha! Splash is what screwed it up. Splash won't work. Okay, awesome. That's good to know. So that is going to fill up. How many does that hold? Uh, 30 buckets worth. I don't know how many arrows that's worth, though. Um, okay. My frame rate just went to toilet. Not 100% sure why. Let's dump that. Jump that. That don't need that. Don't need that. Man, what is going on? Come on, frame rate. My FPS up here at the station is fine. <laughs> yeah, it's something here. I'm guessing it has to do with filling this um uh filling this uh bu -bu 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 quiver up or something. I don't know what. It helps if I'm standing on the elevator and not a light when I try and go down. Um, I know, right? Okay, <laughs> awesome. So now we're going to wait for this to go. Then we can go try it on something. Maybe then I'll go to the moon if you're nice. Um, uh, he is probably drinking the latest addiction that we got him started on, which is Fresca. Yes, yes no. it is. Yes, it's a Fresca. Fresca is amazing stuff. F R E S C A, if you're curious. Great stuff. Frame rate drop caused by epic music, says Maniac. <laughs> I should only hear the music because if I did, I'd hear Vagum twice. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on a second. Oh, just the song ended. Now the... But if I do that, the stream's hearing it twice, so that's bad. Um, I can, either Fox <laughs> can hear me twice, or you guys can hear the music twice. Take your pick! Okay. I'm going to take this out of here. 
Shift F3. Nope. What is it? Alt F3? Woo! Okay. Um. Game renderer. Level. Terrain setup. What? Rebuild near. Build near. Chisel. Oh, no, unspecified. So something is causing a, a massive world update. Something is rebuilding within my, like, block updates or something like that, I'm guessing. Okay, give me That's a second, folks. interesting. Yeah, I'm going to swap over to the swirling spaceman here real quick. I'm going to disconnect from the server. You can slowly watch the lost astronaut spin into space. Very hypnotic. I'm still logging out. There we go. Log back in. See if it's still bad. Berg says we do love corrupting epic minds. I mean, corrupting young minds around here, yes. And old ones, too. Robert Collins says, I know, let's give Berg a microphone and let him uh, and get him to sing. I pass. That spaceman reminds me of SCP-1959. SCP I don't know what that is. Basically a lost space man in outer space, constantly orbiting the Earth. Okay, I'm just going to sit here and let this finish for a while. I don't know what's causing the updates. I, I'm guessing I might have to reboot my client. Uh, maybe if we get away from the base or change dimensions, it'll flush things up. I want to fill this up completely. And it is going very slowly. Instant damage four should definitely pack a punch, along with a diamond bow. Yes, diamonds for a bow seems really stupid. Talk to the thermal team. Uh, not my idea. I'm just going to take advantage of it. There we go. All filled up. Go upstairs. Okay, and this is where I... this I'm assuming Dell the CSM space station Brody let's get to the moon base actually air space station what'd you say spite what did you say Fox air Dunny built his own space station and I think it was out of spite <laughs> Why, why did he build his own? He wanted to build a space station, a section of the space station for the massive generator. I told oh, him reactor. that's fine, just the, the, rea the reactor, yes. I told him it'll be a little while, and he instantly turned around and made his own space station. Okay, is imbuing? He's enabled. Okay. Tell if this is working or not. Okay, that in theory should be yeah. solid. Find out later when I attempt to put oxygen in it. Yeah, there's no way to get over to this area. Why is this not? This is barely doing any damage. I didn't look at you, dude. 
You can't get close thanks to the interdiction torch. I legit don't know what's going on here. Oh, if I open that, it's going to be too large for the... Uh... Harm potions don't work on zombies. Oh, I didn't realize that. I've never used them. Okay, let's find something else. Hang on a sec. Too big. Unsealed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that killed a spider real quick. I do hear stuff behind me, though. That's not a good sign. Also, do note the uh, moon base doesn't have... isn't sealed. It's not sealed right now? No. I know why. I just gotta fix it. <laughs> oh, one of them died over there. I saw one teleport in and then die. Great. I arrowed my rocket off the launch pad. <laughs> I don't. E I don't even know how that works. Let's put that back and get over here. This is super weird. I'm going to have to figure out where on earth the uh, tank is. I'm actually not even sure if this is working right. It, yeah, it's, it's working to some degree. Oops. I'm just going to put this next to my... Yeah, apparently yeah, it's definitely not sealed now. <laughs> apparently an arrow that has been render that has been imbued with harm actually does zero damage to a uh, a zombie. It doesn't even do base damage. Which I think really? Is kind of, yeah, apparently. Cuz I mean, I put like 10 arrows into the thing. I forgot. Is mine Oh yeah, headhunter. I forgot my my diamond tool actually has headhunter on it. Um I should take this into the Nether. Okay. So that you said the thing isn't sealed right now? No, but I know why. Why is it not sealed? Because there's a giant hole in it. Why? why there's, is there... there's a hole down here. <laughs> there's a hole over here. A and hole? then wait, I minute, wait, 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 added wait. a hole where over here. And there's a hole on this wall. I just I intentionally did that. Oh, okay. There's so a we... hole back here, which I intentionally did because I got to hook up pipes. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, as long as and then covers and stuff. I broke this to add this hallway, and this is what caused the main problem. I added this large space, mm. and the one sealer couldn't seal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I got air tanks to spare. I'm okay. We could kill this tree room right here, honestly. If you've got that better one over there. Um, Aerodonny says, are you breaking my base box? He's yes, yes, I am. He's expanding it. Ow. Which also, what the heck was that? Also, where the heck, that was a creeper. Where the heck have you been, Aerodonny? Jobby things, or what? Hi, Aerodonny! Oh, of course. Harm tipped arrows should heal undead. Yeah, so there you go. So if we're doing harm tipped uh, uh, harm tipped arrows, it's actually making them better. Uh, need fire damage. Fire probably would have been better, maybe. Wait a minute, how do we fire on an arrow? I'll have to look that one up. Maybe the bow. It would be fire or harm. Yeah, I guess that would be. I mean, a there we go. A fire, a, a burning harm arrow would set them on fire and heal them. Super weird. Okay. Um, okay, so this one sealer back here yeah, was only getting this this little building and the tree area over here. Mm. When I broke open this wall, that one sealer couldn't handle this hallway by itself. So I added another sealer over here in this corner, and now the two interact with each other, and they can seal the whole area. Yay! 
Oh, yeah. See, Air Donnie Travel says phone interview and a nap. I don't blame you. Oh, Berg has an interview tomorrow as well. Cool. Good luck. Definitely good luck. Um, instant health will kill them instantly. Eh. Wait a minute. Oh, undead mobs. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why I was kind of curious about um, experimenting with this to try and find an optimal kind of a build, so to speak, for what to fill in this thing with. But I'm, I'm not even 100% sure. I'm going to go back to the workshop. Let's go find some stuff in the overworld to shoot. And, or the, well, no, the nether is going to be filled with mostly undead stuff. Okay, let's go up and out. Zoom! I intentionally went down into my basement of my little house over here, my mining tunnels, and knocked out a whole bunch of the torches. Let's go see if I can make some stuff spawn. Where'd that collector go? Come back here! Decay might be your best bet for a potion. Will Decay kill them? Uh, Pops? Decay is one of those things that takes them down to the last hit, right? Like poison. Poison won't kill you. Poison just drops you down to half a heart and something else will kill you. Pretty much. I consider doing like slow or weakness. But killing something quicker would be the best option, I think. Oh, decay is like wither. Poison is half a heart. Wither will kill you. Okay, so yeah, if it's it's basically wither potion, then that might be a really good option. Anything down here yet? I did not black out. I blacked out that way. Did not black out this way. Oh, here we go. Kira left the game. Here, Danny Tribal, join the game. He's gonna whoop ya! Another. Whoop ya! Hi, Here, Donnie. Hi! Oh, dang it. I don't want the stupid zombie thingers. Um. Yep, there's more bats. Just what I need. Bats. I'm going to go back here. Honestly, I want to make an infuser setup that infuses night vision and use a, a, a hypo infuser. So I can just uh, infuse myself with night vision potions constantly if I want to. But that would get expo <laughs> expensive really quick because that's like golden carrots and stuff. And I ain't got that kind oh. of money. Anybody? Anybody? Go back over here. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is going to one shot almost everything. Oh, except for zombies. Feel better? Wow, this beheading. Thing really is working overtime. How many heads have you collected? Uh, six zombie heads. Goodness. I know, right? Also, yes, Aradani, I am destroying. <laughs> How dare! Dun -dun -dun. Suddenly, picture Ferg doing Cartman impressions. Huh? I don't know where that came from. Yeah, I'm a little lost on that one myself. Kill that. Kill that. What is this? Oh, oil. Ooh, okay. Um, oil! You stuck yeah. oil. Oh, there, there. Ooh. Hmm. You know what might be good? You made some of those triple, what was it, triple black ender tanks? Yes. Ender tank. If we got one of these, we could hook it up to the system with a fluid import bus, and then we could do ender buckets. 
tied to it. Then we could just buck it up constantly until it filled up. And as it was as it was filling up, it would be importing into our system. That's a good idea. Hang on a second. Um, oh, God. What am I doing? Why am I walking? Here, teleport. Go zap! <laughs> Dear God, who's this human in our workshop? Grody. <laughs> Grody. Blap. Uh, uh, um, more zombie heads. I'm going to set aside the imbued quiver for a while because I think it's a little buggy. Um, getting it to actually fire stuff is a little weird. Um, let's do this right here. I don't want to upgrade it because that would be counterproductive. Fluid. Oh, wait a minute. Just, just an importer, I think, right? Just an importer set to fluid mode. Um, items, fluids. And then we do a fat stacks upgrade. Oh, no. There we go. Now what we do is we do... And then you should be able to make a portable ender bucket. Yep, make an ender bucket. Which, for mysterious reasons, does not have an EMC value. I have no clue why. Oh, yeah. Um, the, that's because the, blaze, the bag doesn't have... No, no, no. It uses uh, a base recipe that uses blaze powder, and the blaze powder does not have... Still does not have a... Uh... Okay, so now I have a tank. Whoop, wrong way. Let's go back over to... I think oh. it's... Who's next to me, Fox or Eridani? Eridani is down... At no, the, the houses. The houses. Uh, Eridani. me. Okay, it's under your house, Eridani. So, triplet of oil. Oh, the right. big old uh, oil pit that I found. Yep. I was left first. I, had to, I, I didn't even do anything with it. <laughs> um, I technically already have authority. They're finally added it, and it's an actual job title. Yeah, so Ferg is basically applying for a job that he already does. He just needs to make it official and actually get the pay raise to go with it now. I think. Hopefully there's a pay raise. Dear God. Because he, he works with idiots. He really does. I have a feeling I'm going to have to drive Eric and walk Eric Dunny through my madness on these pipes. Uh, as long as they out. work and we don't have to touch them, I don't care. Um... 70s carpet, wow, cool. You've seen that carpet like nine times now, at least nine streams now. He's always amazed by it every single time we go by the 70s carpet. It's great. Every time I go by it, I want to barf. Uh, well, that's intentional. Um, <laughs> Here, Vicar, learn moon turf. I thought I did. I don't know, I just threw it in the system. Okay, yeah, let's go over here. And it is not importing. Why is that? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it is. Nope. It's not importing. Did I, did I have to put it on a whitelist or what? Eridani, are you still in shop? Yes. Can you look at that tank I just put down? The importer bus on it for the under tank? And tell me uh, if that tank is full or if it's not. Why is it not importing? I bet it I is to, full. I probably it's, I probably have to whitelist or something. The fluid I can't remember. Shouldn't need to. What's the importer settings? It is set to fluids. Right. Uh -huh, it? It's not blacklist or anything. Hold on. Yeah, it says it's 32k out of 32k. Maybe it has to import from the bottom. Maybe you have to pick up the tank and put it down sideways. Oh, that's right. Those that that is, yeah. right, that's that's how it happens. We have to Sidedness. change the sides. If you just pick up the tank and place it against the exporter, it That'll should change it. its orientation. Oh, got it. Oh, empty. Okay, that was that was quick. I need to press a um, hammer and whack a couple times till it turned around. My lifestone won't turn on. I've had that problem before. I don't know how I fixed it, but it eventually started working. 
Also, do you have EMC in your inventory? No, that'd probably be why. Yep. Is there not something here? Hold my climb started, gave myself more inventory, and next thing I know, I don't have any EMC. If I don't have space for my Klein Star, then I'm doing something wrong. Oh, hey! There's another thing down here, too. There we go! I'm good. I'm full on food all of a sudden. Hmm, I wonder why. Okay, liquid redstone something something. Anybody else have any oil in their basement that they don't want? Uh, that was destabilized redstone. Yep, well, we've got it in the system now, whatever it is. Ah! Pesky creepers! Meow. I want your head. It is super dark. I accept this. Hi. I didn't get your head. Skelly, can I have your head? Er, er Donnie, if you're up here. Hey, I can. Meow. If That's you good. are up here. I burn her. Don't come in this room without an oxygen tank. Uh, it's probably not sealed, is it? <laughs> I'm gonna seal it in a couple seconds. Uh, in general, going to the moon without oxygen gear on is just dumb, so don't do that. Bad idea. <laughs> don't take for granted that somebody actually sealed something. Oh, we have a, a tree is growing through our glass roof. Dark oh. I don't like that, actually. Dark Preacher says, and I quote, oily basements are no fun. Nom 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 nom. Delicious lava! Oh, I can't do this like this. Okay, let's change this around. Power always comes in from the wrong side for me. There we go. Checking seal. Oh, it's very too big. I'm just gonna go on a fluid hunt here for a little bit. Just put another one on the other end then, fine. Oh. The Earth. No, space is on the other side. Oh, the spider saw me! <laughs> ah, fox panic noises, how I missed them. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is more scary than watching a spider climb up a 15 foot wall and then slingshotting in the orbit. <laughs> yeah. Sounds kind of hilarious and also terrifying. Um, Ouch! There's two of them! I find the concept of mobs with oxygen gear on kind of disconcerting, because that to me gives, gives me the indication that they're preparing for something, and the fact that they can prepare kind of terrifies me. <laughs> like, oh, they thought about this. They know they need oxygen gear. Oh, crap. Ow, 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 They ow, become ow. sentient. Barbecue chicken! Barbecue chicken! Ow. <laughs> Thank you, Lifestone. I'm just gonna sit here for a second. Okay. I don't understand why you morph into the undead while you take damage from no oxygen. I... It's like mobs underwater can still drown. It's just a vanilla mechanic. Everything needs air. They did not account for that. I do think it would be interesting to make a... A uh, mod that gave um, zombies weight, like gravity weight, and made them um, it, zombies and skeletons uh, gave them weight in terms of like you know dropping in water, and made it so that they uh, didn't need to breathe. So you could see them walking across the ocean floor like Davy Jones style. Pirates of the Caribbean. I think that would be, That'd be like, creepy. Yep. Be extra terrifying and awesome. Run on screen. <laughs> yes, extra crispy is right because I'm being dumb. But I'm being dumb because I have a pretty heavy grade armor on. Now. I'm just. I don't even know how much lava. How much space we have for all this lava in our system. I'm assuming we have a pretty big chunk of space left. Something exploded. 
That was probably a meteor drop if you're on the moon. This will be perfect for what I want to do for my next project on Monday, which is going to be extra power gen. Hey, Air Donnie, are you going to be busy tomorrow for the uh, live stream? Um, hopefully not. Okay. I just it just clicked in my head that the I don't think the oak wood is ceiling. Probably not. Put gla uh, get those sensor glasses out of the uh, uh, R of the uh, refined storage system, and use them to find leaks. Supposedly, they'll tell you where leaks are. Welcome to 1.13. Vagram drowned mobs are a thing. Oh, that's awesome, pops! I didn't know that. I'm looking forward to 1.13, even if it's going to be just a vanilla playthrough. I'm very heavily considering starting up a vanilla server for my patrons and community, and uh, doing a 1.13 vanilla server. Um, just just to see what it's like, see what we can do, mess around with it, experiment with it, because it's gonna be a while before. Oh, we'll that's have, awesome! Before we'll have forge or anything like that. Did you find the leaks? No. Yes. If you actually put on the goggles, you like say you have an oxygen sealer placed down. It yeah. will create a particle effects line directly to from the uh, sealer where it's leaking. That's awesome. Or it may also be the fact that I have collectors and sealers in the same room, so I think the collectors are instantly picking up all the oxygen. I am trying to clear all this lava. It really does not want to cooperate. I keep almost burning myself. My life stone is oh. the only reason I haven't died like three or four times now. Oh my god. Is anybody that's near uh, the RS system, can they check and see how much fluid we've got for lava? Hold on. Thank you. 664. Really? Yep. Okay, well, there's more to come. I didn't know more for lava. I, I didn't mean to spend the last 30 minutes clearing out fluids out of my basement, but you know, whatever. Ow. 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 They are disappearing around this oxygen collector. If I break the oxygen collector, what does it do now? God, how far back does this go? It's supposedly sealed. It's supposed to seal because it looks like it's sealed. But look at the way these particle effects are impossible to understand. There's some way to put it into an advanced mode that's cha that slightly changes how the data gets read, but I, I, I have not figured out how to change modes. I think it's probably a keybind of some kind. What mod is it from? Galactocraft? Yep, yep. Yep. Man, this is a lot of lava. It is default to K. I don't know what that did. There's like a basic mode and an advanced mode or something. Okay, this is fruitless. I'm going to go back here. See if I can finish out on this other side. Oh, that's weird. It does like an in and out effect, like you're breathing. Oh, that's strange. Yeah, but I can I can't see the difference between advanced and regular. I know it makes a difference with ore. Advanced is supposed to give you a better indication about like what lot Y level stuff is on. We have so much lava now. Uh, let's see. I want to mess with advanced generator some. Oh, yeah, it's just as much lava over here on this side. Hey, look, emeralds. Um, I want to mess with advanced generator some, so I think Monday or Thursday of next week. I want to try and build uh, some form of advanced generator that uses some of these fluids that we're stockpiling, apparently. Ah! Ow. 
Ow. Ow. Bigger I had oil under my base, but I collected it and processed it to the point of refined oil. Did you want it? Are you not going to use it? Because we'll take it. Apparently you two are on a team, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, you need to join CSM. CSM. Scoreboards, right, well. join something, something, I don't know. This makes no sense. Do you make no sense? There we are. Ta-da! Now I am purple. Don't use actual fire when dealing with potentially flammable things, kids. Okay, I think this is all finally. Slowly draining out. I will follow it. See, one of the problems is if I go too far away from the oxygen sealer, it won't show me the particles anymore. But the oxygen sealer problem is so far away that... You need to make a second one. If you're getting far enough away that you can't see the particles, you're out of that sealer's coverage area, I believe. Because they have very limited space in which they work. I have two in the same room, and I... Oh, this room may be too large. Okay, I'm just pumping fluids into the system that we're going to use for later. Pop says there is one that... There's one that produces steam from lava and gives obsidian as a byproduct. Then you can turn the steam... Run the steam through a steam turbine? What? Okay, I'm going to take those sensors off because they give me claustrophobia. I need to look into that bucket. I already have a, ha a fluid relay. Um... Yeah, um... We have advanced generators, and I think it would be steam power of some kind. Um, if you need fuel, I've got 1,200 buckets worth and only plan on one more trip to the stars. Yikes. Yes, we'll take any and all that others don't need. Bring it to the casino or something. Um, we want to do bigger power gen stuff, and we're going to go a lot of different routes that way. I think it's done. Yep. Dumb, apparently. It's all right. While I burn, it'll at least light my darkness. I wonder if oil oil fires are still a thing. I'm not sure, actually. Okay, there's that one bucket of redstone, whatever, whatever. This is I don't know what. Oh god, a gigantic thing of oil, another one that I just found. Oh god, we might run out of fluid space. Okay, now I have three in this area, and I have three in a space larger on the space station. I don't think it's sealing. It's not showing me where it's sealing or not. No, 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 no. Good grief, so much oil! I know, it's super dark, ladies and gentlemen, give me just a second. Let me get this. At least the lava is a light source. Doot! There we go. Uh, so yeah. We have a lot of projects and a lot of ideas that we want to get into, dabble into a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I want to use advanced generators. We had it in... Wasted, I think? Yep. And we barely touched it. I don't think we did. 
or maybe we did once, but we didn't do much with it. Um, I want to actually see if I can make a couple of different combinations of or something complex to do with that mod that we didn't really cover and wasted. Um, I think that would be very, very cool. I like oil. It doesn't set me on frickin' fire. Ah! Basically, right? Um, ah, oh, you're nice. You don't set me on fire. You know, it's like a quick qualification for any, any friend. Have they set you on fire lately? No. Quantum tank, show off. Um, yeah. I want to get into some of the higher end uh, Tech Reborn stuff. We haven't touched the, I don't think we've gotten out, really gotten out of the middle tier, the medium tier yet. Um, I want to do that. Disappointedly enough, the uh, commands for from Journey Map or Journey Map. The utilities up in the top right hand corner, left hand corner. Yeah. Oh, they one, don't one affect the moon. Nope. I tried to turn it today, and I'm just in there like, oh. Yeah, you can only do that for the overworld. Doesn't work for anywhere else. Okay. Um. Wow, more stuff. Here's a bucket of lava for free. And here's a few more lavas. Wow, I really got a thousand buckets oh, of lava. Oh, me. We have a thousand buckets of what? Uh, we almost have a thousand buckets of lava. What's the oil readout? Um, for some reason we have two things of oil popping up. I'm assuming from two different mods. Uh, all together we're looking at about... 470 bucks worth. There should be more incoming at a pretty regular rate. Yep, there it goes. I keep finding, uh, yeah. I keep finding more oil deposits. Hey, Ardani, can I ask you to do something for me? No! Wait, what's can up? you go and check the tree room and see if it's sealing? Yep. Because I'm currently outside. Did it seal? Uh, enable seal. On. Yeah, we're good. Okay, I found what the problem was. What was the problem? I missed a piece of glass while I was building. Oh. Yeah, that'll do it. Jeez. Man, this is riveting television. These <laughs> sensors highlight in it and mobs. What the sensor glasses do? The sensor glasses highlight mobs. I need to put those things on on camera so people can see what the heck you're looking at. Hang on a sec. After I get through clearing out a whole bunch of this stuff, I mean, it's just jackpot for oil down here. Plus, it is running all over the place for God knows what kind of fluid updates we're getting on a regular basis from our basements. I kind of, when 113 comes out, I kind of want to make a, a mod pack that is nothing but hardcore tuned. 10 bits from Dragon Racer. Woohoo! Oh, at some point, Miss Beturtlement followed. I'm sorry. I did not see that. I need to look over a bit more. I keep getting distracted with my magical bucket. Um, I want to make a 113 pack that's just like hardcore top end tuned mods. You know, like no extra fancy weird particle effects. Uh, nothing that's going to add uh, extra fluids to world gen. Um, you know, nothing that's going to be constant world gen block updates. Just, you know, absolute, like, something that's interesting mod pack that will run on a real low-end to mid-range PC. I, I, I think that would be very, very cool to do, because not enough people tune that way. And plus, we can okay. probably pretty quickly see what mod authors are doing good coding and what are doing naughty coding. So. Um... We have enough oil to convert to save this ship. <laughs> we do. We have about 800 buckets now. That, that was my last check. <laughs> There's still more coming in. We have 879 and 85 because there was two types of oil. Yep. I'm not sure what the second type is. I'm guessing one is Galactocrap 
and one is thermal expansion. Or or, or Tucker Born, either or, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure which. I'm gonna go set up a set. Up. I'm gonna go make a setup here at the uh, at home base to uh, refine the oil. Um. Um. What um? Okay. The moon base is now self-sufficient in oxygen. Thank you, sir. Uh, that means we don't have to worry about having the uh, uh, home base on on the in the overworld chunk loaded for the sake of oxygen production, which is good. Um, that's a, a, a very good thing for us in terms of server performance. I ran out of oil there. Oh, look, bees. Ah! Bees! Yeah, hey, there's rock bees down here all over the basements. I am lost. I want to do that. And I'm going to come 995 back. buckets of oil. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Um... Also, it appears Air Donnie flattened out the old tree area. I guess we can use it for machines or something. Yep. Tool rack. Yeah, those and I have cool. to refill my tanks because one is empty and the other one's almost empty. Yep, check your more. Um, let's see. We're gonna do this and that. There's the bucket. Anybody can pick up the bucket and use it now. Woo! This song is driving me bonkers. Ding 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 uh, I can put that away. TE and GC is right, says Dragon Racer. I checked when I couldn't pick him up. Still unsure why. And that's weird. Um, Don't mind this. I'm potato just... pack, says Maniac. Yeah, I kind of want to make a potato pack, man. I want to make something that's like 50 mods. Like a vanilla plus that has been real lean and mean tuned. And still make it interesting. I think that's good. Right. What is next to your disk drive? The blocks. I went. I thought I went over this. You must have missed this, Dragon Racer. These things next to our blocks are. Um, oh God, I'm getting some lag again. Um, these are oxygen. These are st fluid storage blocks. Instead of drives, they're basically a replacement for the drives, and um, you can use those. So we have a fixed amount of space that's whitelisted for oxygen. And then over here, where our normal fluid drives are, like oil and lava and whatever else, these are blacklisted for oxygen. So oxygen production would only go here, and it will top out at 2,000 buckets worth of oxygen, plus a couple of ender tanks. So we had a max of about 2,500 uh, buckets worth of oxygen sitting around that we could send to either the space station or the moon. Now we don't have to worry about that anymore. We can use this for something else because, and we could probably strip back the... Uh, oxygen production in the basement a lot like this stuff here uh, I, I pruned back we had two oxygen collectors that I already pulled now we're just down to these for recharging tanks and uh, that's gonna be it we wouldn't even need this tank here see this is liquid oxygen we wouldn't even need this buffer tank or to pull it into the refined storage system anymore is there okay, another I put three sealers in the tree room because I thought it was like a sealer issue, but it was one piece of glass not blocking something. So I turned off the other two. Hey, uh, Eridani? Yeah. Two portable resonant ender tanks and a an importer and a speed upgrade? I was just gonna dump those back to the, uh, it was in the it was, it was system. A, it was on the floor downstairs. Oh, Forge Bug. Yeah, 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 Forge Bug. Uh, so. Oh, then I have them. Uh, so Fox, you actually got the thing up there sealing and working, right? Yes. Okay, so the moon base is basically sealed. It's making its own air now, which means we don't have to worry about so much of this nonsense. So, yeah. I picked them up by accident, air down there in the system. Oh, that's okay. fine. That, that's what we need to do to go anyway. Yeah. Um, it's good to actually still have some here at home. That way we can uh, pump air to the space stations. Yeah. As the space needed. station is self-sufficient. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> The space station we don't actually have to worry about anymore. Uh, oh. Now, that being said, we will have this air stockpile when we go to Mars and when we go to Venus. And we still have to worry about those. But then we can work up to making those self-sufficient if possible and et cetera, et cetera. Then finally obsolete the setup down here. 
So it's not yep. completely it's not completely obsolete yet. We just don't have to actively use it as much here right now, which is good. Um, okay, fifteen minutes. Let's see what is our final fluid counts. Uh, yeah. Uh, GC. No, we yeah, eighty five buckets of mystery oil, and then almost a thousand buckets of other oil. Um, Hold on. I'm going to grab some buckets. I'm going to see what those are. Here, Donnie, are. He wants those tanks back. <laughs> oh. Destabilized okay. redstone to... Yeah, we have a whole bunch of refined fuel. I guess this is from Robert. Is that where this came from? The refined fuel? Yep. Awesome. Thank you, Robert Collins. 947 lava, which we can put to a use in a steam turbine with some water. Um... Anyone set up a cooking for blockheads room yet? No. Actually, next week, one project I want to do is start burrowing out parts of the mountain, and the kitchen will be in the mountain near the casino. It's going to be literally, we are going to have a food court. And I want to make a kitchen set up back behind the food court, and uh, we'll use them there. I think that will I'm be very, very cool. Crazy with the chisel and bits in that room. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, we're going to be do some, doing some big mountain clearing next week, some one of the live streams. Because, uh, like, I need to clear out space for where the aquarium is going to be. It's going to go down through the center of the casino, uh, the actual casino floor itself. We need to start looking at maybe getting some machines set up. We can explore that mod some. Casino craft, because it's really cute. It's a really, really good, cool mod. Um... Oh, yes. So Dragon Racer says also repurposed my starter house to food. There you go. So he's got a ke kitchen set up, too. Anyone seen Ferg's cat kitchen. room yet? I'm he's scared. Not very far off from us. Who is? Dragon, I think. Yeah. He's like, which way is which? He's this way. Ish. West? Okay. Oh, I see it's Robert like Northwest. Collins. West. Robert Collins is over at my house. Hang on a second. I'm going to see if he needs anything. Oh, uh, he needs his tanks back. I, I'm about to get them for him. Oh, okay. I haven't been to my house in a while. <laughs> the, oh, the entire Coop Street Mafia is going to invade poor Robert Collins. Attack formation! Bombs away! This is why I used to carry eggs. <laughs> you, flo you float down above somebody and pelt him with eggs and it makes him panic. Why am I being attacked? <laughs> Thousand blocks southwestish says Dragon Racer. Awesome. Oh, Berg has yes. I saw the Hello Kitty themed room. Yes, that clip was passed around, and I think that was awesome. We need to make sure that uh, Miss Moab sees it. Um, I need to see how long it takes for the leaf generator to eat all the leaves on the tree. Because it doesn't always eat them all at once. No, it goes through, I don't know, it's like 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Something like that. So, I one mean, thing, when it's full. One thing I'm going to do over the weekend, I figured I can use them for other items to store them in, says Robert Collins. Awesome. You get them straightened out, Aerodonny? Aerodonny's muted. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I got it right now. Awesome. Thank you, sir. So one thing I'm going to do next week, uh, uh, when we do the uh, uh, rebuild stream, I mean the uh, dig out stream for the uh, mountain, uh, is we need to actually determine uh, um, how much glass and floor layouts and stuff like this we're going to have here for the main building. Because I want to get the shell and the floors done for the main building. Maybe some elevators and just leave it empty for a bit. We can come back to it, but I think we could do that in probably 30 minutes to an hour. Just build it out and put some floors in real quick. <clears throat> um, once we do that, we're going to connect the back of it. And I think I'm probably going to push the back to cover this. Connect directly up to this area here. Then once we do this, we're going to burrow even further into the mountain here. And determine where the main casino floor is going to be. It's going to be on this level somewhere, but I think it's going to be back further over here. Um, we're going to do the food courts, probably going to be somewhere in this area. It might even be where the chicken, chicken room is, uh, one or both. And, uh, we're going to have some other little, uh, like we can do like joke travel agency offices and, you know, we can do some, uh, retail space up here that we could do of, um, 
I don't know. Suits, armor, clothing, whatever we want to. All sorts of stuff. But the big thing I really want to get done next week is I want to hammer out this all the way down to casino floor level. Have the big uh, uh, aquarium. We're going to properly over oval shape this a bit more. Make it look a little less gross around the edges. Uh, so we might have to peel back the landscape in a little bit around here, but we'll see. So yeah, that's going to be one thing we're going to work on next week. And tune back in for that. It's going to be awesome. The office tower is basically done. Um, huh, I wonder if there's an interaction bug. What do you mean, interaction bug? <sighs> Yay. I have an extreme energy re energy laser relay coming out of a leaf eating generator. Yeah. Going into the advanced power cell system. Right. And it's even though the si the power cell is full, it's constantly draining from the generator. That sounds like somebody's not topic tapping into the uh uh, Redstone Flux API, the RF API, or Forge Energy API properly. Because actually additions is RF, and then the advanced power cell is RF. Right, but is one Forge Energy RF and another one RF RF? Does that make sense? If one is yes. FE and the other one's RF, the implementation behind the scenes could be slightly different enough that it could cause problems. I'm just, you know, speculating here. Actually, it, it, actually, this the <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay. Actually, additions is crystal flux and not redstone flux. Yeah, they've got their own. Could be that. And a, a client hitched there for a second. Um. Okay. Um. I was about to ask what actually, you're doing over here. Right right now, a cable. I think this is your oil refining setup. Yep. Is she going to pipe over from the top of one tank into the other one, or what? Yep. Awesome. And the caches on the side are what? Output of extraneous stuff? Yes. Okay. You know we have storage drawers with void upgrades, right? This is true. <laughs> I'm just reminding you. You might have other, other ideas in motion. Like we could turn that into... Well, it depends on if it's got EMC or not. We could turn that into EMC if we wanted to. But... Yeah, whatever. So that is oil. Oh, How much is a resonant flux next door? <laughs> What'd you say, Fox? How much is a resonant flux next door? Resonant? It's twenty five thousand yes. or something like that? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's basically the same as they can move. Redstone, redstone, resonant. This one's holding sixty seven thousand. I, I I mean at least I think. Let me go look under under the floor here. Hang on a sec. Because we got some exposed. No, it holds more than that because this one's got 1.6 mil. Okay, so, then. So I'm I just don't, wait I, for the... Uh... Yeah, I don't know what the... It seems like 1.6 million and change is, is the max out. I'm not sure what. Um, I think it's determined on how many connections you have because it should be able to transfer 25,000 per connection. I think it scales the actual capacity. Oh, okay. That would make sense. Connection. If I remember right, wasn't it, isn't it cryo insulated flux ducts don't actually store anything? No, yeah, that's because they constantly transfer. Yeah, it instantly transfers as needed. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so the eight iron buckets of tech reborn fuel we have cannot be run through the uh, T setup. Oh, tech. That's tech reborn oil. Is the eighty five yes. stuff? Okay, so we're gonna have to take that out, put it back in the system, and just I don't know store it or whatever? Uh, it can be sent through a semi-fluid generator for 64,000 RF per bucket. So we could use it for that. We could save it for that. Rainy day, whatever. Yeah, TR stuff. Yep. Okay, let's let's put it back in for that then. Uh, Pops makes a point, Fox. He says, put a cable between the relay and the actual... Yeah, that's thing. what I did. That's how come I wanted to know how much it stores because oh, okay. it's just... It's constantly pulling out of the generator into the flux duct now. So the flux duct is acting like a power Like a battery. Cell. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually going to come over to the rocketry platform. I'm just going to turn it off. My brain hurts and we don't need it constantly running. Don't turn it off or on? Turn it off. I turned it off. Okay. 
Leaf Power Farm. Ah, okay, down off, yeah. So you're basically just waiting for it to finish that cycle. Yeah, because this flux duck is just going to constantly keep eating the power that it's generating. So, okay, here is where I get to point out a, a, another reason why I like birch trees. The vertical beam won't get that bump out, and it's just going to keep redoing and redoing and redoing, where you'll end up getting all these little branching parts of the tree going out that won't get cleared by the beam. Birch trees are always a single trunk straight up with a maximum height of like six to eight blocks. That's it. Okay, I swapped it to the birch then. So, <clears throat> Oak has a, a bit too many variables for me to for me to like for stuff like this. I still don't know why the birch didn't grow up on the moon. I'm still frustrated by that. I had enough. You didn't give it enough height. I thought I did. I don't, I don't think you did. I don't know. Because I, don't know I anymore. what happened, what happened with what I did is I let it have an open ceiling and then I let it grow before I built its box. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure if it would actually grow in outside space, though. Yeah, no, they they will. Oh okay. Well, I know that now, so that'll be easier. Uh, we can do the same thing on Mars then. Advanced Mutatron. I'm just kind of looking at the B setup over here. I don't think Aridani's had the time to do much with it. No, not yet. Um, we have a mess load of marshy drones. Mess, uh, yeah. <laughs> we have we this have one a, over here full. Yeah, we've run out of. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh dear God! Okay, I need to empty some of this. Apparently, uh, we are maxed on honeycombs over here on the industrial apiaries. Oh jeez. Um, oh, oh my! Because yeah, the princesses are dying because I have those genetic stabilizers in there, so it'll just keep running and running and running. What is oh. This? oh, royal jelly from an yes. imperial drone. Ooh. I have an imperial drone now. Go That's back in there. Nice. Du -du. Pollen clusters. Oh, dear God. Where do I. Okay. This is why I put this um, test here. The honeycombs are going here to be run through the. Uh, Too late. Uh, stuck them in the crate. Beach. All right. <laughs> Too late. Oh, stuck them in the crate. Too late. Stuck them in industrious. Wow, remember. you stole those all really quickly here, Don. Yeah, I should hold down. Okay, okay. Look at all the bees no, all of a sudden. Oh my goodness. Noble bees, diligent bees, cultivated bees, industrious bees, industrious Aridani, apparently. Imperial bees. <laughs> okay, top three are empty, right? Okay. Um, there's another one last honeycomb. Um, one drone honeycomb. I loved that cereal as a kid. Um... Those were there. delicious. Meadows, forest drones. Um, okay, meadows are over here. It's not bright enough. Duh, it's nighttime. Silly bees. Bees. Now they can. Aha. Okay, some of these were full, and there was no place the uh, queen is stuck in the pipe. And there was no place for oh. the queen to go. Yep. So I'm going to empty out some of your bees on some of these. It's fine. Um, if you want to, I'll just, uh, I think I'm using which chest over here? I'm using the middle one for uh, drone storage. Um, this, the common drones right here in the middle area. Yeah. yeah. don't have a queen. Yeah, they probably died. Oh god, okay. Um, middle one is drone store. Oh god. Uh, is drone storage. Da -da 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 um, before we wrap things up for this evening, I would like to, your common drones need to be queen also. Yeah. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> give a quick shout out to my partners in crime here for the Coop Street Mafia. A big chunk of the fun I've been having with this series is being able to share it with the likes of Eridani and Fox. So thank you both for actually not being... <laughs> uh, I don't know. Jerk sticks in the mud. I don't know. Thanks for being nice. Yeah, that's how I want to phrase it. Um, there we go. <laughs> for oh, is like, I still love honeycombs. <laughs> I've been stuck on Fruity Pebbles knockoffs recently, and I mean, they're pure sugar. <laughs> Absolutely horrible for you. Don't ever eat them, but you know. That's not the <laughs> Never point. ever eat them. That's not the point. They're absolutely delicious. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, I've been having fun, and uh, I had fun with you guys in Wasted, and I've been having fun with you guys in Coop Street. I mean, uh, Coop Life too. So, um, yeah, cheers, absolutely. Um, okay, the Imperial drones are weird, and they glow in the dark. Yes, they are weird. I auto mod. You're drunk. Go to sleep. Um, <laughs> oh. seriously, it just okay. Also. Well, I cool thing about the I think it's the Imperial ones. You occasionally get this small buff of uh, re, uh, re regeneration. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're glowing. So it seems like something weird's going on there. Yeah, every so often I get a four second regeneration buff. So I okay, keep seeing so my little hearts start bouncing. Oh, so you have a centrifugal centrifugal. I can pronounce things separator over here, which is yep. a thermal expansion machine. Yes. And it is separating and dumping into the chest above. Oh, it's pulling out and reinserting. Oh, okay. Yes, because it won't pull the B products uh, out. It'll only pull the honeycombs in. Silky comb. Oh, then that answers that question. Yes. Silky comb gives you propolis, amongst other things. It looks like stringy comb does too. I remember propolis was used in build craft for the B pipes. You remember that? You could only yep. make the special B sorting pipes in the build craft with propolis. <clears throat> Uh, Cookie says, bees! Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Ferg says, I still love honeycomb. There's that comment. They actually seem fitting for Vagrum. Uh, Malto meal frosted flakes, says Maniac. I like some of the Malto meal stuff. I'll have to try it. So, yeah. Um, okay, awesome. We are at two hours and two minutes. I think it's going to be a good point to potentially wind things down. Let's go look at the crazy-ass basement down here. Dear God. <laughs> I took the machines that were right here and moved them upstairs with the rest of the bee machines, so I just have grand syrup so you can actually get to the stuff. Growth medium. That sounds creepy. Polymerizing bacteria. Bacteria vector. Fruit juice. Okay, that's weird. I guess in case he's thirsty. Ethanol, biomass, and raw <laughs> DNA. The raw DNA is the stuff that I want to see if we could, like, Use Make the uh, out of. yeah. I want to get like chisel fluid, chisel and bits fluid, and coat a room with it and see what happens. See if it's I still animates. I, I, I'm betting it's not <laughs> going to animate. It's going to become static. In which case, I will become sad. Yeah. But that's not the point. Um. Okay. Actually, considering how the it's animated in the uh, terminal terminal, I think it'll be animated. Yeah, that means it's going to be extra nausea inducing, which means it'll be awesome. Um, yes, we could make like a rave room and somewhere in the casino. Replay the rave floor made out of it. Uh huh, yeah, awesome. It'll be the dance floor. Grown <laughs> medium sounds like off brand silent green. <laughs> yeah. Dragon Racer says it becomes static. Oh, it does become static. Boo! It'll still look hideous though, which is perfect. You want a room where it looks like somebody's thrown up on the floor? It's probably that stuff. Um, Resident Ender animates. Oh, okay. As so, a Resident Ender animates as um, as uh, chisel and bits fluid blocks apparently. Tried water on a max size Nether portal. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. Um. Anyway. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for coming by. It's been a wonderful evening. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, two p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, or 2 p.m. Texas time, if you will. Uh, we will be live streaming from the same server, but we're going to be going over to our switching streams over to our uh, creative build, and we'll be working on the uh, Compass Bay Casino a bit more. We've been making some big progress. I think we're going to get the internal floors decorated and carpeted a bit more so it's less clunky-thunky and a bit prettier looking and probably start hammering out some of the outside landscaping jobs because I really want to get some of the coral, but that means we're going to have to roam some of the seas around there, the ocean depths, and try and find some of those coral reefs and kelp that we can replant. So, yeah, thank you very much, everybody. I will catch you folks later. Have a good one. Uh, there is going to be a movie night tomorrow night. I've got some ideas up my sleeve, but I've been so busy this week that I just haven't had a chance to hammer them out. But something will be happening tomorrow night. It's probably going to be B-grade and fairly horrible. So just brace yourself. Um... Uh, worst case scenario, we can do OG favorites like um, uh, Werewolf and Creature from the Black Lagoon. Those are awesome movies still. 
Uh, but there is going to be a movement night tomorrow night at 8 p.m. T- uh, Texas time. Um, now they're just going through the quotes like mad. <laughs> I still love the one from Guts. <laughs> You're a very chicken, chicken poop. poop. Yeah, it's one of the oldest quotes in the stream. Um, short circuit. Uh, maybe. I don't know. We could do one and two, but I wouldn't do that tomorrow night. <laughs> Morris says, hey, I'm home. I haven't seen them. <laughs> Just in time for the end of the stream, Morat. You're, you're subbing in for uh, Atomic Blom this evening, apparently. Oh, Fergus to spend time with the family tomorrow night. I'm sorry. You have my deepest condolences. <laughs> Unless you actually like your family, in which case, weirdo. Um, so, but yeah, we'll have something on tap for tomorrow evening. Um, otherwise, I'll see you folks later. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. And stay awesome. Bye. 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 Is anybody still there? Can you hear me? <laughs> I think they're gone. I can't see them. Yes, <laughs> 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 go away, creepy eye guy. Bye. Uh.